all right everybody and welcome back to a 29th Google Chrome application development tutorial in which we'll be continuing with our desktop app which we were doing in the last tutorials so let's get started and let's populate all the files we have left blank in the last tutorial so I'll just say this button as start recording and I'll just move the script file down here inside the body section so that <coughs> we don't need to add unnecessary event loaders for the body for the DOM to be ready okay so now in the app section this in the app JavaScript we need to do something to let the user select what they want to record so first of all obviously we need to set a event listener to the start recording so let's just grab it quickly using traditional JavaScript API and which is start recording dot add event listener l i s t e n e r and most of the time get that wrong and the click should be record click bubbling false let's create this function quickly we don't need this parameter right here it's not required so right here okay so now the fun part comes now we need to use the main Chrome API for the user to grant permission to record their screen now it's not only screen it could be anything like their camera attached or not their whole screen but some kind of window remember we are working on an app so we have control outside the Chrome as well so you could actually record your different windows as well for example if you are running this uh, desktop capture and you want to record your file explorer for example or your sublime text for example then you can do that with the with this extension so let's see so first of all we need to use make use of the API so type chrome dot desktop capture dot choose desktop media now this is pretty much straightforward selling that Chrome should capture the desktop and choose desktop media I'll just explain in a minute what this does is it would accept two parameters one is array and the second one is a callback function so we mainly need these two parameters so in the array we'll give we'll offer the user what they can record with our extension so for now I'll just put screen and window inside an array and I'll just show you in a minute what these two mean and how they differ and there right here is a callback function I'll just name it something different so um, let's say access to record alright so now let's create a function access to record and I'll just populate it later so I can just show you guys what's happening right now so let's go back to our browser and I'll just reload this extension and would we'll launch it and I'll just open the console as well just for any debugging messages and let's click on start recording okay so now you see that this little pop-up came out of nowhere and we don't have this uh, coded up in our code anywhere so this is completely dynamic and I guess my screen size is a little bit small for this to work so I'll just hook this up a little bit 800 by 500 should be good let's launch that again and you'll be able to see that clearly this time click on start recording so you see this nice little dialog box share your screen my desktop capture which is the name of our extension and it gives you a lot of options so this is my current screen recorder with I'm shooting the tutorials and this gives me entire screen as an option screen recorder developer tools extensions pretty much everything which could be um, separately screened off so you see entire screen would shoot this entire window screen recorder would just shoot this recorder itself and the developers tool would shoot this window only the extensions would just shoot this tab this would shoot the sublime text this would shoot my folder 
which I am currently inside and that's pretty much sums it up so looks cool so what do we do next now the next thing we need to do is we need to pass uh, we need to make sure we are recording the right screen the screen which user selected so for example if user selected let's say entire screen we need to know that we have to work on the entire screen instead of just sublime text only so to do that chrome has make made in the callback function an argument passed right here as id and i'll just console log that for you guys right now and this id is a base64 encoded id because it does not contain safe characters so let's see what happens now here's my console and i guess i just forgot to reload so let's launch it again so i'll just open the console again and here's the option and here's my console let's select entire screen and i'll just click on share now if you see that nothing happens right now because we are pretty much doing nothing in the callback function except uh, console logging just the single argument id passed so let's see what this argument contains so you see this is a kind of base64 code clearly looks like a base64 so if we convert this to ASCII you see that it is pretty much meaningless and we don't need that actually but we would need the base64 form very much so let's just store this right here inside screen ID as ID and let's just move on to other stuff okay so now what we would be doing is we would be making use of HTML 5's very very latest API at least for now which helps you to get rid of all that flash plugins and extensions which were used previously for the user to record their screen directly from the web browser and HTML5 just brings it right baked in the browsers itself so you can just record your microphone your um, screen or your web camera from the browser itself now this API is highly inside development stages but we have access to them inside the Google Chrome application programming interface when you are doing apps in Google Chrome so what we can do is we can make use of the WebKit prefix and we could just simply use the API provided by Google and record the screen so let's see how we can do that